Hey everybody, my name is Becky Fiddler and I hope everybody had a great Christmas and is ready for the new year. So for this muscle functions video, I'm choosing to go over the rhomboids muscle. I will go over the location which includes the origin and insertion, followed with functions and then finally exercises so you know how to strengthen the muscle. Before we get started, I'd like to share with you guys the importance of strengthening the rhomboids muscle. Both for men and for women, you can improve your posture with developing the rhomboids muscle. And especially for women, it is important to strengthen this muscle only because we tend to develop osteoporosis in our thoracic vertebra first. Okay, to start off, like I said, I'm going to go over the location. So let's start off with that and then we'll go on from there. Okay, now the rhomboids muscle originates on the transverse processes of the 7th cervical vertebra down through the 5th thoracic vertebra. Okay, and it inserts onto that medial border of the scapula just beneath the spine of the scapula. Okay, now there is a rhomboids minor and a rhomboids major. The rhomboids minor just happens to be the top, the very top portion of where it's originated and inserted. Okay, and then the rhomboids major would be the rest of that location. Okay, so the rhomboids muscle, like I said, originates on that transverse process of the seventh cervical vertebra, which is right about in here, and then finishes off originating at the fifth thoracic vertebra on the transverse process, which is right about there. Okay, and then inserts onto the medial border of the scapula or the shoulder blade. Okay, so if you reach around onto your back and you feel for your scapula or your shoulder blade and you feel that inner edge closest to your spine, that is the medial border. Okay, so that is where that rhomboids muscle inserts onto. Okay, now that we know the location of the rhomboids muscle, we can now apply functions to the rhomboid muscle. Now, the rhomboids muscle helps the scapula adduct, which means pull the scapula towards the spine. Now, while the scapula adducts, we also see a slight upward rotation from the rhomboids as well. Also, when the scapula is in a upward rotated position like so okay so that is basically like that okay the rhomboids muscle will help pull the scapula down and in so that would be a downward rotation okay so the functions of the rhomboids muscle we're looking at adduction of the scapula slight upward rotation of the scapula with the adduction also a downward rotation of the scapula from an upward rotated position. Okay, now as far as exercises go, we're looking at a lot of rows. Okay, it could be seated rows, bed over rows, dumbbells, barbells, cable rows, anything. Okay, a lot of rows develop the rhomboids muscle. Also, with the downward rotation of the scapula, we're looking at a lot of chin-ups, okay, and a lot of dips. In the in eccentric part of the dip exercise, your scapula tends to pull out and away and up from the spine, okay, and then as you go down, the rhomboids muscle pulls that in. It's the same thing for chin-ups. As your arms come up, your scapula pulls out and up, okay. So we're looking at chin-ups, dips, rows. Also, we're looking at deadlifts. During a deadlift position, you're reaching down, okay, and then as you pull up, you're pulling your shoulders back, which is adducting the shoulder blades, okay. So again, rows, dips, chin-ups especially will all help the rhomboids muscle. It also helps with deadlifts as well. Okay, so that's why sometimes you tend to feel a little soreness in that mid back area after a deadlift session. So, I hope everybody enjoyed my video 
and I hope everybody can learn from it, especially for women to help prevent uh, osteoporosis later on in life. And if you do already have osteopenia or osteoporosis, I hope that you can use this to help deter or kind of eliminate any further progression of that. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoy your new year. Thanks. See you later, guys.